Do you want to boost the likelihood your weight loss journey will be successful? Leading academic research shows that money enhances weight loss success, making dieters significantly more likely to lose weight. Healthy Wage uses cash-based challenges designed to help end procrastination, encourage perseverance, and harness the power of your desire to avoid losing your wager. Get started today and make your healthy wager by visiting PharmacyPearls.com slash healthy. Plus, sign up through PharmacyPearls.com slash healthy and you'll receive bonus copies of the Primal Prescription, Surviving the Sick Care Sinkhole by ER Dr. Doug McGuff and economist Bob Murphy and the Primal Blueprint Quick and Easy Meals, delicious Primal approved meals you can make in under 30 minutes. A $56 value, yours free when you make a healthy wager through PharmacyPearls.com slash healthy. Simply email your purchase receipt to bonuses at PharmacyPearls.com, then lose the weight and get paid. Simple as that. In this episode of Pharmacy Pearls, we'll review medications used to treat hypothyroidism. At the end of the video, complete the review quiz in order to test your understanding, reinforce the material, and apply it to real-world clinical scenarios. The thyroid gland is part of the body's endocrine system. It secretes hormones that contribute to increased metabolism and growth and development. The secretion of thyroid hormones is regulated by input from the hypothalamus and the interior pituitary gland. Thyroid disease is extremely common, with women more frequently affected than men. As we will see, the symptoms associated with thyroid disease are often nonspecific, so in order to prevent affected patients from falling through the cracks, it is recommended to combine a high index of suspicion with a low threshold for screening for thyroid disease. In normal circumstances, the production of thyroid hormones, designated T3 and T4, is regulated by thyroid stimulating hormone, or TSH, which is released by the pituitary gland. When additional thyroid hormones are no longer required, a process called negative feedback inhibition blocks the further release of TSH. This feedback loop promotes homeostasis. Hypothyroidism is a condition of underactive or low thyroid. It occurs when the thyroid gland does not produce enough thyroid hormone. There are multiple causes. In the developing world, for example, iodine deficiency is the most common cause. In North America, it is usually the result of autoimmune thyroid disease. Primary hypothyroidism, that is, hypothyroidism not secondary to other causes, is indicated by an elevated TSH measurement. If the body is lacking sufficient thyroid hormones, the pituitary gland responds by working overtime to try to bring about thyroid hormone secretion, hence the elevated TSH level. Conversely, Hyperthyroidism, or thyrotoxicosis, is suggested by a low TSH level. Common symptoms of hypothyroidism include fatigue, impaired memory, constipation, cold intolerance, and changes in skin and hair. Physical examination may reveal a telltale appearance, consisting of coarse features, dry skin, and thinning hair or hair loss, as well as hypertension, bradycardia, or delayed relaxation phase of reflexes. Rarely, in extreme cases, a medical emergency called myxedema coma may occur. When performing initial screening for hypothyroidism, it is sufficient to check the TSH level by itself. Additional laboratory tests can be performed if the TSH level is abnormal. Remember, if a patient's judgment or motor skills are significantly impaired, consider their fitness to drive. To quickly review, here is an overview of the symptoms associated with hypothyroidism. And here is a picture demonstrating the clinical presentation of hypothyroidism before and after treatment. Hypothyroidism is treated by supplementing with thyroid hormones. The treatment of choice is levothyroxine or LT4. The goal of treatment is to normalize the TSH level. This often takes six weeks to see the full effect after instituting treatment or performing dose adjustments with resolution of symptoms sometimes taking even longer. In light of this delay, it is recommended to only adjust the dose every four to six weeks as necessary. One way to make a quick temporary dose adjustment and to allow the patient to use the tablets that they have on hand is to ask the patient to take one extra tablet per week if TSH is slightly above target or one fewer per week 
if TSH is slightly below target. Because thyroid hormone supplementation could possibly worsen angina, it is recommended to start with doses as low as 12.5 micrograms per day in the elderly and those with established coronary artery disease. For patients who are clinically stable, monitor TSH levels at least annually and more often if symptoms occur. Achieving balance is important, as too high a dose of levothyroxine could bring about symptoms of hyperthyroidism or thyrotoxicosis. Levothyroxine is notorious for its poor absorption. As a result, it is best to take it on an empty stomach with a glass of water spaced at least a half hour from other medications or food and drink. Many substances, such as antacids, calcium and iron, will decrease its absorption, and the dose may have to be adjusted for patients starting estrogen or proton pump inhibitors. Finally, it may also affect blood sugar levels or the effect of warfarin. Liothyronine, or triiodothyronine, abbreviated T3, is another thyroid hormone supplement. Its use is usually reserved for the short-term management of patients with thyroid cancer undergoing withdrawal of levothyroxine when recombinant TSH is not an option in order to prepare for radioactive iodine therapy. It has a similar side effect and drug interaction profile as levothyroxine, though its absorption is not affected by iron. There is no benefit and possible harm associated with combining levothyroxine and liothyronine. This is because both hormones produce the same effects within the body. In fact, levothyroxine is actually converted to liothyronine outside of the thyroid gland. Additionally, liothyronine is absorbed rapidly from the intestine and may trigger mild thyroid hormone toxicity in certain patients which explains why levothyroxine is the treatment of choice. A third option, desiccated thyroid, is sourced from animals. It does not provide reliable dosing and presents no therapeutic advantage over the previously mentioned treatments. The appropriate management of hypothyroidism is particularly important before and during pregnancy. This is because hypothyroidism is associated with infertility, miscarriage, and lower intelligence in children. Women with hypothyroidism should be advised to increase their levothyroxine dose by two extra tablets per week immediately following a positive pregnancy test. Subsequent dose adjustments should be based on measured TSH levels. Reassure patients that thyroid hormone supplementation is safe during pregnancy and breastfeeding and should not be discontinued. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please show your support for Pharmacy Pearls by hitting like and subscribing to my YouTube channel. Think you know your stuff? Test your knowledge of hypothyroidism by completing the review quiz, available here or by clicking on the link in the description. And don't forget to bet on your weight loss, win money, and claim your free bonus books at PharmacyPearls.com healthy. Take care.